Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Mark chapter 16, verse 15, and John chapter 13, verse 34. It reads as follows He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. A new command I give you love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. While he walked his earthly ministry, Jesus gave one new commandment love one another. As he has loved us, we are to love other people. Before he ascended after his resurrection, he gave another directive. Go into all the world and preach the good news. I like the beach. Correction. I love the beach. <laughs> I love the beach. When I lived in and near this one city, you know, for a while, I would get a little antsy if I didn't make it to the beach once a year. It's my spot. It's my happy place. It's just kind of my place of refreshment. I just love the beach. God knows this and he knows that I go to the beach. And since I am going there and he knows that I'm already going to be there, I am 100% sure he sets up opportunities for me to minister to people at the beach because he knows I love going there. While he calls some of us to minister to people by moving to these new remote far off places, he calls some others at certain periods of time to minister right where they would normally go because he wants to minister to people there too. Once I sat on the beach and I saw this little boy with what looked like his mom and dad, but the little boy just didn't seem to be into it. He kind of ran ahead of them and would leave them frequently. And he just sort of didn't seem happy. Well, they were about to leave and he ran ahead of them again, passing me. And so I said very sweetly, are you going to wait for your mom and dad? It was like a floodgate opened up and like he just needed somebody to talk to because all of this stuff came out of this little boy. He told me how that wasn't his dad and his dad was far away and that was his mom's boyfriend and he didn't seem to sort of know what to do with that. And I had watched that guy. He seemed very kind and very attentive. Like he was really trying with the little boy. And I just kind of told him, you know what? It's okay. All of it's okay. And for some reason that just seemed to sort of click with him. The couple caught up to him and I briefly greeted them and sort of wished them well. And that little boy gave me a very sweet and kind goodbye. It was like he just needed someone to talk to, someone to let him know what was happening. It was okay. Another time I sat on the beach and I watched this woman walk over and start to set up her beach stuff, but it kind of looks a little bit old. There are two chairs, a beach blanket and an umbrella. Well, she hadn't noticed, but one of the beach chairs was broken and she goes to set everything up and she sits down in that broken chair. She can't get up. I mean, she tries and she tries and I can kind of feel the embarrassment coming off of her and she cannot get up. I pop up, go over to her without calling it out, without embarrassing her and just kind of say very kindly, hey, do you know that chair is broken? I give her my hand to kind of help her up and I just go to start to try and fix the chair. She told me that the chairs were from a vacation rental and I told her, you know what? It was already broken. I wouldn't even worry about it. I wished her well and I left her. Shortly thereafter, a guy came and joined her and I could kind of tell they weren't married. I could tell they were dating and they were sort of maybe newer dating. And I just kind of thought God covered her. God did not want her to suffer that embarrassment with this sort of interaction she was having with this guy. He set someone there to help her and he covered her. I don't say these things because of me. God can use whomever he wants, but I do say these things because God wants each and every one of us to love each other right where we are, right where we already go, whether that is across the globe or across the street. Friends, a chief way that we love others is to simply be there for them, to give them a kind word, to save them from an embarrassing situation, to share a meal with them, to help them at you know, work, staying a little extra after you know work hours to help them finish that project. Ask the Lord to use you, to send you, to help you to love one another, to help you to go, whether that is, yes, moving somewhere new or yes, staying right where you are, but ask him to send opportunities your way that you may indeed love one another. You may bring the gospel, the love of Jesus Christ to this world, right where you are or right where he would send you. Let's pray. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that we get to be your hands and feet. God, it's not about us, God. It's not about how great we are or what we do or that, you know, we are so holy or we are so kind or good. No, God, it is you in us, loving people through us, God, ministering to them, encouraging them, God, rescuing them, helping them, saving them. And we love being your hands and feet. We love being, God, your vessels, God, of good. You get all the glory. You get all the honor, God. Use us as you will, God. Use us in the places, God, where we frequent, where we go, where we are, God, or you us, Lord, and send us places, Lord, where you would have us new places, God, new opportunities, new places, new countries, new cities, God. We want to be, God, where you want us to be, and we want to do the things that you want us to do. We love you, God. We honor you, and we thank you, God, that we get to be used by you, and it's all for your glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.